can see this beautiful reclaimed wood photography backdrop has hues of silver, white, um, and tan, and a little bit of dark, darker tones that really make it look unbelievably lifelike. But when we back up, we can see it's just a replica. But even the knots are so um, high resolution that you wouldn't even know that they're not real. I mean, look at that. We have beautiful um, texture and dings and scrapes and chipped paint in this wood that happened, you know, throughout the decades as it naturally aged. And it is being picked up in every way, shape and form on this photography backdrop. And I am just taking this video with my phone to illustrate literally how lifelike it looks. So you can really trick your eye to make it look and feel as if it's just, you know, 100% real, you would never know. But as you back up, you can clearly see it's not. And from this angle, you can see there were nail holes that really are picked up beautifully. And let's just get as close as we possibly can and look at all this beautiful texture. So again, because this has natural shadows in the little ridges and in the little um, the edging here, you want to keep your light source consistent with where the shadows would naturally fall. So in this case, my light is coming from this direction, which matches the natural where the natural shadows are hitting. So you want to make sure that the light and the natural shadows are not conflicting when you're actually taking an image, and that's going to make it look more lifelike and more three-dimensional. So if I'm taking um, and the image with the planks this way and in this composition, um, then I would be using backlighting here. Um, and that's just going to keep the shadows consistent. But if I'm doing it from this side, um, it's best to shoot from the side here with my surface flat on um, a table or on the floor to keep the shadows consistent.